Hello, and um, it's good to have you join us again on our, well, I'm sure your favorite program, Close Flow, coming to you from NTA2 Lagos Network Center. Always our pleasure having you join us at the table as we continue to look at the story of Nigeria and the roles each and every one of us is playing in the narrative about this country. It's been agreed virtually around the world that uh, there is a sector of the Nigerian economy that should be the crowning glory of this country. And uh, virtually everyone who seems to be saying that are supported by some measure of data. Some have said that, okay, in these coming years, that sector should be commanding about 10% of Nigeria's $500 billion GDP. That is what we, are, we seem to be earning right now. During the rebasing last time, it was assumed that that particular sector contributed close to $6 billion to the Nigerian economy. Now, I'm just wondering, how true can these figures be? And if they are really true, how come that some practitioners in that sector are still beggarly when it comes to their take home? So again, we are turning the spotlight on the, Ni on the Nigerian entertainment sector in this edition of the show, and we are looking at how operators, how professionals, how stakeholders, how everybody in that sector actually can make the sector grow the way everybody seems to think that it should grow. So our guest today is a multi-skilled Distinguished Nigerian, a multi-talented Nigerian, a multiple award winner. Uh, who, I don't know what the parents will be saying now. Who went to the university to take a degree in sciences but came out of the university, first class student, and decided, no, 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 no. I don't think I want to go the scientific way. I think I want to go the artistic way. So we would like to know from her. Oh, I've said her. I was going to hide it until I... Uh, I present, I present a guest to you. Well, we need to know from her, still in her 30s, but yet, you know, growing so strongly in the entertainment sector. My pleasure to welcome onto Close Floor on your behalf today, Florence Venume Humbo. You're welcome to Close Floor. Nice to you, sir. Now, um, well, I, I tried to tease you a bit about that. I think we need to leave that for now. We'll come back to it, why you are doing this, but uh, let, let's quickly look at this. So is it true, really, that uh, Nigeria can make close to $10 billion from the entertainment sector? Is it, can it, I mean, I just want to be sure that this is just not a, a pipe dream. <laughs> uh, it's actually possible. Very, very possible. No, Florence, wait now. No. <laughs> I, I know our viewers, you know, you know, a lot of young persons are watching you. Yes. And when you say this, like $10 billion, yes. I'm going to have a bit of that. I mean. It's possible, trust me. There's so much money in entertainment, so we can, it's possible. Well, okay, let me be uh, consoled okay. by the <laughs> fact that we know that the Nollywood people are making some money, well, some money, they are making waves, but about the money and all that, I really, I'm not sure. Now, is it because of the Nollywood that you're saying this, or because you, you have tested it, you have tested? Yeah, not because of uh, the Nollywood per se. You know, we have a lot of things in entertainment. It's not restricted. We have the movie aspect. We have the blogging aspect. We have the music aspect. We have so many things. So it's possible. As far as um, if we are able to like restructure or do some things that we are supposed to do to meet up with some standard, trust me, we won't make that much. Now, I, I like what you have just said because you have okay. looked at all the different aspects. Now, and that is where I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Um, so, is it about time for us to put all this together? You have mentioned uh, blogging, movie, music, uh, uh, dancing, even yeah. fashion. So, yes, isn't fashion. it about time that we can put all this together in a structured form so everybody can actually visibly see this money? Is it, is it not about time we do that? Yes, it is about time we do all that. But the question is, who is going to start it? Who's who, going to build the cat? Yes. Who has the mindset, who has the capacity, who has the knowledge to be able to bring all those things under one umbrella? That's why we're having the problem. Once we have someone or a body or maybe a group 
that can restructure and do all the right things that they need to do, put all standards that they need to put in place, trust me, we will be there. Godfrey from Apapa, in your perspective, what can government do to help nurture talent in schools, especially for those who have, well, you know, especially for those who, who have, have parental clashes. You know, you know, students, some children may have talent. Okay. Their parents are like, don't dare mention that to me. Okay. And because okay. the parents, we pay school fees, uh -huh. is it possible for government to intervene and okay. make some kind of funding available? That's what he's trying to say. Okay, uh, like I said, when we started the program, I said, first, you need to discover what to you're good for, who you are, what you have passion for. Secondly, if your parents I mean, binding to what you want to do. Keep talking to them about it and secretly be doing those things. Do you understand? Then um, the aspect of trying to, to uh, involve the yes. government, uh, like we actually talked about the 10, 10 billion, how much did you call it? 10 billion, yes. 10 billion earlier. I think the way and the only way the government can actually invest into this talent is, for instance, now, I make shoes. If any government is ready to partner with me that, okay, how much do you sell your shoe? The slippers is 15K, the sandal is um, 20, the shoe is 50K, 70, because it's branded, it's bodex you are wearing, you understand, all those things. So we can come up with an MOU, you understand? You'll be giving government 30% back, why you take 70%? Because I really want to go to the market. Yes. The only thing the government is doing is chopping the money. Aside collecting their money back, they still also have 30% profit. profit. So that means you are asking government to invest in such talent. Yes, and then they should just sign an MOU. You have to always return to that's, some percentage. That's a brilliant one. After all, it's like some kind of scholarship. Yes. It's work that way. Okay, Everybody so Godfrey, I hope that answers your question. I think that's a brilliant one from uh, Bodex. Now, Jerry from Osborne Ikui, what does it take to be a blogger? It doesn't take anything. For me, it's because I love to talk. And I said, instead of just talking for free, let me put it into, <laughs> let me put it into blogging. Uh, the only thing you need is just... Um, the time to do it. The time to do it. And you must also have passion for it. That's why you see lots of people are blogging. They are not making money from it. Google AdSense is not even helping matters yes. because you need to hit a particular traffic before they you can, can get put an adverts, paid. Yes. So first of all, what you need is passion. Do you understand? If you're good at uh, maybe selling, you can even turn it into blogging. You tell people to start. Say that again. Yes. No, let, let, if, let the viewer listen. Yes. If you are, uh, if you are good at. If you at, enjoy selling. Yes. If you enjoy selling. For instance, I love to sell phone. I love to sell this one. You can turn it into blogging. Blogging does not really mean that it's you write strictly a long news. Story. No. As far as you're online, you're attending to people. People are sending in orders or requests. People are commenting. You're already blogging. You can tell people, okay, yeah, just go and order online. Just go online. But people see blogging as maybe news, gossip. This one, no. It has. Go, it goes beyond that. Yes, it goes beyond that. All you need is once you have a passion for something, Let's just talk try, about that. Thing. Yes, get a hosting plan, register a domain name, then you kick off. That's all. Um, Jerry, if you ever become a blogger, you have to pay me a percentage. <laughs> I'm just, uh, everybody course. can hear it. It's not like I'm there. Uh, even <laughs> if you blog under her, I will go and... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. All right, Kami from Aja. Some people think that fake news are rampant with bloggers. Fake news, uh -huh. rumors, gossips, just like we are saying now, uh -huh. are, 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 are rampant with bloggers. What is your opinion about that? Uh, well, uh, like I said... You need to know what you're good for. <laughs> if you're good at <laughs> gossiping, that is your and business. it works for you, yes. that is your own business. But if you check Bodex NG, I actually do more field work because I cover musical uh, BTS Shows, behind yes, the scenes. Yes. I cover big days. I cover political gatherings. So you what understand? you're saying, you look, you blog reality. Yes, I have. Mine is field work. I only do little of copy and paste because the blog needs to keep going. <laughs> I like that. He says he yeah. does very little of copy. And so paste. some people just do copy and paste. Yes, now without even editing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you heard it. Kemi, it's not just about those fake mm. news. She mm. does real news. And you can blog about that too. That's what she's trying to say to you. If I if I didn't tell us from where, just say if I from okay. 
Where does a blogger draw the line in information gathering? I like that. Where, Where do they? draw a line? Information gathering. So you, you run into an information at what point? Suppose that information will be compromised either security or life. Would you also release that information? Maybe that's what he's trying to ask you. Okay. Uh, no. Once after uh, vetting any article you have, and you you don't have enough evidences mm. to back mm. it up, there's there's no point to there's nothing like uh, you want to come and give me credit because you read it on Bodex NG. Kujo, they will just carry only you. <laughs> you understand? Just go through it. If there are normal things, okay, fine. But if you don't have pictures, if you don't have evidences to back Cop whatever your statement you are making, yes, just leave it. That's a brilliant advice. That's okay. it's better to be on the safe side yes. of the law than to learn in Kiri Kiri. I, mean, I don't know that place. I'm too fine to be there. <laughs> okay, Jumoke <laughs> from Festac. What's the difference between an online news person and a television radio person? An online TV person. Yes, and it, and well, maybe real life, maybe terrestrial. You know, no, so what's no, the difference? No, there's no difference. <laughs> the only difference is you're seeing me on TV. When it comes to normal TV, then the online one is you're not seeing it's me. On, on, or on, you're seeing me, but it's online. It's online. Yes. There's no difference. I can copy this uh, show now and put online. I'm still the same person. It's, you have not there's changed. There's no difference. No, I haven't. It's the same. So uh, that's Jumake. Now, uh, Abubakar from Obalende. Who do you look up to as your mentor? And what impact do you want to give back? Wow. society i think i love that person i would like to meet that Bakar. person uh, i would love to meet the person because i've been looking forward to that question funny enough i don't look up to anybody except god mm. i have role models but my role models are i have things i attach to them i don't i don't take people as my role model let me put it that way but if you are my role model is either you are my role model because i love the way you present like opera that's the only person I look forward to because I love the way she talks. I love the way she goes to places that even normal people can't get there. She will bring out your confidence to be able to talk. So that is why she's my role model. All that things that she's doing, I that's don't know. Business. So she's not my role model. <laughs> so that's why <laughs> I remember when I was the Kwame stress at uh, St. Anthony's Baja. Yes. You know, we conduct and be doing the Remy first. So after that, I said, you see. Suppose, yeah, Star Florence, we love you. I love you too. You are my role model. No, choose the role model. Mm. If it's because you love the way I conduct, because I love swag, fine. Because after this church, I'm going to club, <laughs> and you don't know that aspect. <laughs> so why are you taking me as a role I'm model? I like that you love me. Hey, and yeah. you're saying, you so please, there's no role model anywhere. Don't look up to anybody. Nobody. That's why they're saying, fake it until you make it. You don't need to fake anything. Just choose. If you're likening a cameraman, a DOP, you're likening the person because he, uh, he knows you know, how to do his yes, job. Yes, he knows how to tie the camera and set it and all that. If you have Bodex as your uh, role model, maybe because you love the way I she blog. Present, yes. Yes, you love the way I present. Other things that you don't know, don't even bother. So please choose yourself as your Old own role, role model. model and then choose other people by attaching what you values, see in them values. as your role model. Abubakar. But she says she wants to meet you. You have to see me first before you see her, okay? Mm -hmm. So you better, make, you better get in touch. Now, but you also ask her a second question. So what do you want to give back to the society? I've been giving back. At least I employed some people. It's also part, it's also part of giving no, back. I'm sure Abu wants <laughs> to know what, what uh, you know, the way we are. Mm. Uh, hey, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which one? Uh, <laughs> at all, at all. Uh. Yeah, and I know bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... I'm trying to set up a bigger factory, uh, like a shoe academy, where I can, yeah. Train? Can, yes, train people how to make shoes, you know, because um, I see that if you have handwork, it, uh, it sells faster than going to look for a job. If you have, yes, if yes. you can, if, you, if you're yes. handy with, yes, yes if with the have, craft. Because yes. the same place I'll go to look for a job, I can call you, bros, I have shoes, I'm selling shoes. Do you understand? And um, so that's the way I want to give back the name. Once in a while, I always do this, um, what's your size? I um, yes, everybody should just comment. And I'll pick whatever size goes with mine. Then we have a date. Then I'll give you whatever it is, maybe a dress, shoe, and all the stuff. Then I'm going to find out your size. <laughs> the next one, I'm okay. going to Then uh, yeah, enjoy Once the in a while, I try to assist in school fees. Not everything, no. Maybe if it's 50K, I can tell you it's 5K I have. 
You understand? Just so, to meet part of yes, that obligation. Yeah, then I also try as much as possible. Every four months, I try to empty my wardrobe. Uh, so you give away? Yes, I just give to people. I go to less privilege. I drop things that I need to drop because I really want to be a philanthropist. I want to be able to help people. But I get angry when you ask me for things that I don't have. And it will affect you because you think I'm I'm being harsh. But you won't know that it's because I cannot help you. I'm that's funny, why, yes. yes, that's why I'm angry. So, And I'm still working on other things. So. Okay, so Abubakar, maybe you have a job cut out for you after all because uh, if she's going to be doing all these things, she probably will need some kind of staffers mm -hmm. to do it. Now, Choma from Ibutemeta, what advice do you have for people who want to be like you? Choma, uh, Abi, uh, you want to be like me? Uh, yeah, it's good now. Uh, so, <laughs> just like, just ask yourself, which aspect, like I said about the role model, uh, and um, like I also said earlier, anywhere you go to and they turn you down, take that as a stepping stone to your success. Mm. Uh, yes, do you understand? So if you want to be like me, you must be ready to take a lot of insult. You must be ready to be patient, though I'm not a patient person. Funny enough, I'm saying this here. If I want something, I want it to be done here and now. there. I don't, I don't even consider how you're feeling. But now I'm beginning to learn how to be patient. Say, you've not done it. Eh, OK, I don't do it too. I'll just start shouting. So my staff that really understand my vision, once I shout, they know it's because, okay, she wants it to be perfect. So they just calm down. So just be patient. Keep doing whatever you feel um, you know how to do best. And be able and be ready to multitask. Because at times when I get so much order for shoes and I need to blog, I can just uh, do, do like this. this? Do you yes, like or I just can do the post. You go and be posting anything you like. Then I'll start, I'll start making the shoes. I think I can leave the blog empty. I just tell my team, uh, the blog does not really need to have me. It's fine. People pay for advert, but these are my friends. So that's another thing you also need to do. You need to make use of the people around you. At times, I'll tell my friend, ah, boss, maybe you are one big man. Ah, boss, I have a blog, and I have some followers. Come and do advert. Very cheap rate. That's what I'll give you. They say, ah, bodex, I don't need advert. Eh? You don't need advert because my blog is not big yet. Okay, bring 10K. By the time I collect and take it from like maybe 20 people. That's sorry if I have. Yes, I have money. I do want to say, okay, your traffic is not much. Okay, don't worry. I am also a PR consultant. Which blog do you want to use? Because by the time you send me to other blogs, you will pay me for my service. So I'm still so with using people yes. around you to get. Yes, to also get to where you want to be. That's good. Now, okay, let, let's come back to let, let, let's come back to some of this sort of nitty gritty. Now, as an industrial chemist, you know, part of your job will be to do to look at, um, okay, let's look at what WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, is saying about developing economies, you know, that developing countries like Nigeria, that look, all our herbal formations, all about, you know, the trees we have, about, that we need to codify the knowledge about those things. Okay. Have you ever thought about that? Well, I, I don't think I, I have any. Maybe because I, my passion is different from what I read. Yes. And aside that, I think I'm, I have so, so much talent and gift that even if I decided to continue with industrial chemist, uh, chemist I'll still be a great person. Yes. Maybe I decided to deviate because they weren't offering me the things the I even challenges. studied. Mm. Yes, mm. yes, do you understand? Maybe if they, they have provided all the things I need to make this, to make soap, to make this one, maybe I would have been able, I'm that kind of person. I can quickly blend into to the environment. The, yes, but once we don't have it. That, that, that again is another question that is hanging around the Nigerian nation, okay. that we have such a rich reservoir mm -hmm. of traditional knowledge in so many of these things, yet we cannot move to the next level, which is make this knowledge available to the rest of the world for them to share. So how can we correct that? I mean, your, in your relationship with people, is there any hope for us in that? Well, I think uh, just like, you know, this F is so, it's long. We are still living here. People are dying. They are giving birth. You understand? So today might be very bad. 
tomorrow might even be better or even best. The problem we still have is who is that person? Who is who that one take person that, yes. Yes, who can take that leadership? Who has passion in that field? Because since I studied industrial chemistry, if you, uh, you guys, you've been able to do one or two things that will make me to those things that will interest me, that will be like, oh, oh my God, it's not just, because people see uh, um, scientists as dull and boring people. But they are not. Yes, they are not. They also need things that will spice them up. And me, like me, I'm very hype. As if, even when I'm missing uh, chemical, <coughs> sorry, I did my IT with uh, NAPDAG. I was able to, I had one or two encounters with the late uh, Dora. Yeah. And she'll be like, hey, bollocks. Because my earpiece will be in my ear and I'll be titrating and I'll be, ah. she'll be like, how many things do you, because the environment was conducive. You know, we like each other. Yes. It's all, yeah, yeah, you go and test for this water. You, so I'm happy that he, me, it's me that will test for water that the whole of Nigeria will now be drinking. Oh yeah, now let's go there. Do you understand? So once they start doing things, in standard, not just standard, and add one or two uh, things that will spice it up. That will, that will give yes, every person a chance to express themselves. Yes. That will even make my interest stable. Yes. Because it's another thing to add things, uh, to spice something that I'll After just a like, while. Eh, it will just go off. But as far as it will make my passion, that ginger, to just keep going, trust me, will achieve a lot of things. All right. So, uh, the Nigerian space, what are we going to say about Bodex in another five years, ten years? What are we looking at? Uh, five years is even too long. Maybe two years. In two years, Bodex Group International is going to be the only <laughs> Bodex branch that you will wear. Like, <laughs> let me give you a story. I actually did um, one show for one actress like that. I'm telling you because the, her reaction actually inspired me. She's one of the biggest actress in Nigeria yeah. and I presented my Lush this thing. Do you know what she did? She just removed the Gucci that she was, was wearing. See but see what they wear. And I just looked at her, I say, eh, you beg to buy when the time comes. <laughs> and, and, I, and I left her. I wasn't angry. You know all that yes. people that be like, what is wrong with this? Yes. No. But that her action, I was like, really? You need I'm to I'm gonna work it. on it, yes. Yes. So in two years time Bodex is going to be one of the biggest um, shoe brand, yes, in Nigeria, even in blogging because I do entertainment, lifestyle, tourism because I, man um, I manage clubs, I manage resort, even hotels. Uh, then um, Bodex is going to be one of the best TV presenter, red carpet host. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> in two years. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank well, you. so in two years we're going to be watching out for Bodex and see where. Our name will be appearing, and some of the things she's going to be stamping our mm -hmm. brand ident on, and then we'll take it from there. If those two years become reality, we'll bring her back, and then we'll let you, our viewers, determine or decide uh -huh. if truly she has lived up to expedition. The conversation will continue always. www.ntlnc.com, www.youtube.com forward slash NT to Lagos. Go there and go and share. You know this experience with Florence, well, Bodex, actually, to many of you out because there. Because I'm bothering. So, so, yeah, because you're bothering. Yes. So, you know, so that uh, all of you can know. No, no, no. For all those who would like to meet her, you have to come through me. So, please, when you see the, vid uh, the, the materials, mm -hmm. the, when you share to your friends, tell them, get mm -hmm. to FM. Uh -huh, and then we will now get to, uh, to Bodex and to Bodery and to every other person you want to get to. Thank okay. you for watching, and it's bye for now.